What's up everyone? In this video, you are going to be getting a little bit of everything. We're gonna be doing some drywall, some mudding, some sanding, some plumbing, uh, a little bit of everything. So make sure you stay tuned to see what I've got going on. All right, so in that last clip, you saw me do a little bit of sanding. And all I did was take the stick with the sanding block on the end of it and just use 80 grit sandpaper and just went over all of this really quickly. And just to get it all flat so I knew where everything was that I needed to fill in. And then from there, I marked up the walls and showed myself exactly where I needed to fill in. And you can kind of see the different marks for the different spots that I did throughout. And while I was doing that, I decided it would be a lot easier to just texture the closet because finishing in there where it's dark and doing four corners was just kind of a pain in the butt. Actually, it was more than four corners, it was six because of the little vent that I had to add for the return for the air. So, I, like I said, I decided to do a texture finish. And all I did was just use this sponge and then ran coats of mud up the wall and then just slapped the sponge on it to make it textured. Now that way I don't have to finish the closet in flat. I'm not a huge fan of that type of finish, but that was way faster than trying to do like three more coats of mud to make it completely flat in there. So that's why I did that. And an easier way for what I could have done was mix a bucket of mud and then roll it on with a paint roller. But one, I don't have a paint roller. Two, I don't have a bucket on me. So I did not want to go to Home Depot to pick those up. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I am probably going to jump into staining the cabinets in the kitchen after I do a little bit more sanding on them. But I need to eat dinner first, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so yesterday we got a good bit of work done. I still haven't gotten up to working in the living room because my realtor job has been taking over my week. So uh, I've been working till like late every night. So I haven't had a chance to really touch that. But my brother was able to make it by yesterday and we ended up getting part of the drywall hung in the lower bathroom and we did the plumbing for all of the laundry room upstairs. So I'm gonna show you that really quick and explain what we're gonna to do today afterwards. So we have the plumbing dropping down from the ceiling there. We're, and that's for the washer. And it goes down into this pipe, which goes right into the grinder pump and then pumps it back up through that pipe, which goes into the drain line 
that goes to the septic tank. And you can see right there hanging out is the duct for the dryer and then the duct for the fan in the bathroom right here. So we ended up hanging the ceiling, cut the hole for the fan, and then we hung this wall because the drain for the shower didn't quite fit right. As we set the shower in its place, there was a little hump in the concrete right here. So what I ended up doing was framing it in and filling that hole with foam because what I'm gonna do now is use some leveler and just make this one completely level surface so that when the shower pan sits on it, it's exactly how it needs to be. And we don't have to worry about the water sitting on one side and not draining to where it needs to go. So what I'm doing right now is working on prepping this. It's not the best view, but what I'm gonna do is run a really thin coat over wetted concrete more or less. That way we have a little layer that's gonna stick to it pretty well. And then from there, I am going to pour the leveler on top of that, which while it's still slightly wet, it should bond to it, no problem. And then those are in there just to prevent the leveler from not doing its job and building up evenly around that section.
All right, so I got that poured and all it is is you just need to mix it in a bucket to like a really soupy consistency. I'll dunk my finger in it so you can see um, where it's basically just gonna fall right back down to where it was. It's just a really wet consistency and that's what you wanna shoot for. So it's just naturally going to level each way where I have that hump in the middle and it'll just meet and make a nice level surface. So I'm gonna let, like I said, I'm gonna let that dry for 24 hours or so before I set the shower and then we can go from there. Before I get started on anything else today, I do want to go work out and just get that out of the way before my showings tonight, just so I don't have another super late night. So I'm gonna hit the gym and then we're gonna work on finishing that upper room. I wanna finish sanding and get a coat of paint on. Once I have one coat rolled on, I am just gonna go straight into laying the floors because I'm eager to get that all situated. With that being said, I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next one. I'm going to be setting the base for the tub, maybe staying in the cabinets. I've said this like three videos in a row now and I don't know if I'll ever get around to it, but maybe one day. But other than that, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe if you wanna keep up with what I am doing because that is going to be the easiest way to get notifications as far as when I post new stuff. So like I said, subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.